I think I'd want to be a magnetron. My power... I'd definitely be an oblivion. Wait, like Wolverine? I think I'd just be a red. What is happening right now? This is gonna take a while. Okay, so the world is split into people with red blood who have no powers and people with silver blood who have superpowers. And our main character, Mare, is a red. A red girl in a sea of silvers. She ends up working at the palace during the Queen's trial. What is a Queen's trial? It's how Prince Cal gets to choose his wife. The most powerful silver girl wins. And it's where Evangeline makes her grand entrance. But then Mare steals the show when she falls into the arena and purple lightning starts shooting out of her. Which is a big deal because she's a red and should not have powers. Mare electrocuted me once. It was awesome. The royal family feels super threatened by her, so they disguise Mare as a silver and betroth her to Cal's younger brother. Maven. And do we like him? Maven can choke. We'll get to that later. Wait, where did these scarves come from? Can I have one? Oh, the Scarlet Guard? They're the rebels. Yeah, things aren't great if you're not a silver. Rise, red as the dawn. So Captain Farley recruits Mare and Maven to join the Scarlet Guard, and they agree to take down the silver elite. Or so we think. The Scarlet Guard storms the palace. Oh, yay! but things don't turn out so great. Cal captures Mare and Maven, but when he takes them before the king, Maven reveals he was deceiving everyone all along. Oh, this is where we should mention that his mom, Queen Alara's power, is literal manipulation. Imagine if Cersei had superpowers. Can you imagine? Alara takes control of Cal's mind and forces him to kill his father so that Maven can become king. And then Cal and Mare are sentenced to death gladiator style in this epic arena battle. Evangeline has to murder Mare but she is amazing. And they get out of this how? The Scarlet Guard rescues them. And we also find out Shade's alive. Who? Oh, Mare's brother. Everyone thought he died, but he was secretly working with the Scarlet Guard the whole time. Okay, that was a lot for book one. What could even happen in Glass Sword? There's some stuff. Well, the Scarlet Guard goes looking for new bloods. Oh, new bloods are like Mare, the reds with powers. They find a lot of them. But Maven finds a lot first. He has them imprisoned, so Mare and her band of misfits embark on a rescue mission. This cannot end well. Shade doesn't make it out alive but neither does Alara. Mare electrocutes her to death, which is a huge win for her. Rise, red as the dawn. Did I use that right? But then she sacrifices herself to save the others and agrees to be Maven's prisoner. <sighs> Do I even want to know what happens in King's Cage? Mare is super emo and still being held captive by Maven. But that means we get new points of view. And it means Evangeline's back. Oh my God, we forgot about Killorn. Who? He's Mare's best friend and, um, uh, let's just continue. Anyway, Cal's still with the Scarlet Guard, but his loyalties are torn. And the Scarlet Guard is trying to rescue Mare. But until they do, we get to see what's going on in Maven's court. Like how Evangeline has her own agenda. Nothing but respect for my queen. What is she plotting? Well, she was supposed to marry Maven now that Cal's out of the picture. But she's really in love with Elaine. I ship it. But Maven has other plans anyway. He decides to marry the Lakelander Princess Iris instead. And of course, the Scarlet Guard crashes the wedding and all hell breaks loose. I love good wedding drama. It's total chaos, but you'll never guess who actually comes to Mare's rescue. Evangeline! Mare is taken back to the Scarlet Guard base where we meet their other allies, the Free Republic of Montfort. They're determined to take Maven down, but Evangeline's father just goes rogue and starts his own Silver Kingdom. Oh, and Farley has a baby. Is the baby important? Oh, she's just a glimmer of hope in these dark, dark times. All these new factions have popped up, and the only thing they have in common is their hatred of Maven. So Reds and Silvers actually team up to seize control of the military base Corvium. Squad goals. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Someone definitely dies, right? There are a few close calls for Mare. But her side wins, and they manage to kill the Lakelander King in the process. Oh, by the way, Cal and Mare have been dating this entire time. But the good Silvers, I mean, the Silvers slightly better than Maven, want to reinstate Cal as King. But the Scarlet Guard has no intention of letting that happen. Mare breaks up with Cal and leaves him alone. He isn't alone. He has his crown. What happens next? And then it ends, and everyone's plotting, and I'm just very stressed. I cannot wait until Warstorm. Rise, red as the dawn. 